Governor General's award mean to you? For me, upon receiving it, I felt a deep honor and then immediately humble because I couldn't help but think that all the people that made that possible, and I guess everybody feels that way, but it's so true. I mean, I brought something to the equation, but uh, Noreen, my late wife, uh, supported me because I did like everybody. I really drank my butt off for a while and smoked and everything and uh, stayed up nights after nights writing dramatic music for J. Frank Willis. Uh, I'd stay up two, three nights a week, a week to get the music finished. And uh, then later on with television, uh, I wrote for Norman Campbell and also for Norman Jewison, and we did a show called The Bear's Beat. And every week I would be up for four days, no sleep, yeah. And we'd go and do the show, Nimmons and Nine was the house band. And then immediately the next show would come up next week, you know. Yeah. And I'm in awe that I'm st still here. Still here. Yeah, yeah. in a sense. Because, and I just think how lucky I am. And again, I was so lucky. Like, again, it seems like none of this was planned. Like, when I first came to Toronto, uh, it was around 1946. And I, I went to the conservatory there. I studied with Dr. Arnold Walter and eventually with John Weinswein. But at that time, all the young composers about my age, because I would have been around 26 or 25 at that time, uh, had come back. And I had my co peers and colleagues at that time was Harry Friedman, who was my best friend, but Lou Applebaum, you name it, all kinds of people. And we, the conservatory was in the house at the corner of college and university. And this was like a little family. Yeah. And we really exchanged ideas. It was, it was a, just a great time. And what's the, your best advice for your students? What do you I want to say, I want to answer one question. What was the <laughs> best advice I got from my father? Exactly. I got two things by osmosis. From my mother, it was a tremendous sense of humor. From my dad, a great resolve. And he wrote me a letter when I was having women troubled in New York. The letter was quite brief with other things. And, and then he said, by the way, to answer your question of what I think about your situation, son, I want you to understand one thing. You will never know everything about a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and it has served me very well. <laughs> as, far, as far as my students are concerned, uh, I. I feel that education should be fun. So my first day in class is nobody will fail this course as long as you show up. And I don't use the term mistake. I use the term less than a positive experience. And I say, actually, you be the best you can, and your life is not lived in a day. <laughs>